Don't worry about the next. Cause it's your boy Chris with the next with the wig and shade hour. And I got my Babylon Bridges falling down. Tony Rebel, my um, the brand. Who's that making that pumpkin you know, noise? Look on. All right, so today I want to talk about um, Kanye West and his comments towards uh, his support towards Donald Trump. What do I feel about him? Um, again, this is America. That's his. That's his opinion. Um, Kanye West from when I was growing up in high school. I know in middle school, Kanye West came out like 2004, 2005 with the whole car wreck thing, and he pretty much uh, was a growing starving artist. Um, but that was 2005. He was Bush. Don't care about black people. Over oh, the whole Hurricane Katrina thing, you know, he was doing his thing. Um, but that long, um, but people change. Some people keep the same prerogative. Some people change with money. You know, life is funny like that. And I feel like Don, um, Kanye West's whole demeanor, especially since he lost his mother, I feel like his demeanor has changed and his money is up there with a Donald Trump. Donald Trump is worth, I think, $9.1 billion. Kanye is worth, I think, $500 million. And people try to boycott Adidas, saying they need to drop um, Kanye West. They ain't going to drop him. All his white supporters, they ain't going to drop him. Y'all already knew that. You know. Uh, just like Takashi 6 9 is about to sign with Calvin Klein. You know, we live in a... This is a business, and we live for people who is going to uh, draw attention to your brand. I guess whether negative or bad, you know, times have changed. Uh, do I agree with it? No. However, uh, I'm, gl I'm glad the guy from um, TMZ, the um, black guy, I think his name is Daz or something. I'm glad he got um, Kanye West in check, though, because, you know, I'm glad he got uh, Kanye West in check by saying slavery is... Um, a choice because I think if Harry Tubman said her slave is a choice you know she crossed the underground railroad I think she would cross the heaven um, ground railroad to uh, come back and slap Kanye West for his comments and I'm glad that um, the black guy from TMZ got him in check because he's saying that you as a celebrity you get to live how you want to live but me him and like people like me we have to reap the benefits of society and, you know, these race soldiers, some of these cops, not all cops, not all the guys in blue, but some of them, you know, we have to reap re re racial profiling by, so by you up there spewing, spewing that s stuff, you are perpetuating, you know, it, it doesn't apply to you. Now, maybe Kanye West in 2005, but Kanye West nowadays that does not apply to Kanye West and I, I feel like he got him all the way he kept it all the way 100 you know like the Trayvon Martins or Tamir Rice's or the list goes on and on you know and that does not apply to Kanye West because he doesn't live in that reality even if I was to get big as Kanye West I would never fix my mouth to say that because I'm the type of person that I know where I came from I know where I'm going, but don't don't forget where you came from. But I'm not against Kanye West. I don't hate him. I think uh, Erica Badu said it best. When you are an artist, you definitely get to... Um, it's frustrating when people don't understand you. Because I'm an artist, too, and sometimes people may not understand what I do. But and it does get frustrating, so I'm not against that. I'm not against them. But the slavery was a choice comment. That's what took me back. Him supporting Trump, he can do that. Let him do it. You know, that doesn't bother me. What does bother me is if people going to um, boycott um, Kanye West are going to be against him. When he comes out with a fire-ass track, 
don't be bobbing your head to the music, you know, don't listen to it, don't stream it, don't buy it, if you want to take it all the way there, and um, if you come out with some easy, don't save up your EBT money, or trick some girl, or out of her check, or whatever, to buy the Yeezys, and get your lights cut off with some Yeezys. You know, if you're going to take something all the way there, just don't do it for show. Some people only think, say things to sound right. Yeah, I got that from Lovely T. Shout out to Lovely T. Yeah, some people only think, say things to sound right. You know, they just say that in public and they behind closed doors. You don't know what they're doing. Some people say mean what they say and some don't. So, if you're going to take it all the way there, do that. But, um, you know, that's just my two cents on that whole Kanye West thing. And then, how about y'all feel about um, uh, George Bush saying that Kanye West don't care about black people? Um, my thoughts on it, uh, to a certain extent, because getting black businesses started and being a black business person, you know, it's sometimes hard for your own people to support you. But um, I know Don. Um, George Bush was just doing it to get back at Kanye for his comments back uh, when Hurricane Katrina had happened. But now I feel like they're all in the boat, the boat, the same boat. So it is what it is. Just same boat, different jackets. Anyway, comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Till then, this being your boy Crystal Thess on the wig and shade out. Be sure to share my stuff if you like me. Comment. All right, peace.